What's up, YouTube? Brad with Brad's Beautiful Paws here. I just figured I'd give you a quick update on the rat house. Uh, everything's going pretty good. Uh, I actually, if y'all remember, on that back wall was another rack. And uh, I actually got it out of here. I just, uh, I got about as many as I want to tend to in these racks. So... <laughs> It wasn't no use in the other rack sitting in here taking up the room. Uh, but everything's going pretty good. I actually wanted to show you all that. We'll get to it in just a second. But, uh, yeah, everything's going good. I'm about due to uh, bring the shop back in and suck all the tops of the racks off. They're getting, getting about that time. But it is what it is. It's a never-ending battle out here. But uh, I also wanted to show you all this right here. You know, I've been telling y'all I wanted to put stickers on the incubator, but I didn't want to put them on the ugly incubator. So temporarily, I brought this pegboard or whatever you want to call this, cork board. And uh, I've actually got the stickers up in here for now. But I have actually just thumbtacked them up on this board. That way I can still use them as stickers when the time comes. So... But I was ready to get them up. I ain't got that many of them. But uh, I got to get some stickers made, y'all. I keep saying that. Uh, I am going to get that done. I don't know when. But uh, I got several of y'all on the list already. And if uh, any of you want to send me some, I'd be happy to get them and put y'all on the list for some, too. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I don't know when I'm going to get them done. Uh, it's, it's, I'm so busy here lately. And I haven't even sat down and thought up a good... Uh, design or anything so but anyway yeah i was just gonna give you a quick update this rack is chalk full of smalls and mediums and i mean chalk full i got to get rid of some so uh and I, this was a problem i run into if you notice here uh you know when i built these racks i built them for these tubs and i have been using these tubs for eight years now in my old rat room well, what you know when I build a room that off of these tubs that Lowe's quits selling these tubs and goes to these tubs which were the Home Depot tubs anyway but these tubs I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it all right there it is these had a hole and this hole is designed for hanging them on the wall well that hole is just down enough for the rats start chewing on it and then they chew out so i have had to turn around even the ones that haven't been chewed on this is an empty tub i fed them and give them sunflower seeds last night and there wasn't no rats in here to feed <laughs> but uh anyway i have solved this problem by putting this little piece of metal on here pop ribbed it on but unfortunately i have had to do every tub in here like this whether it was chewed up or not because once they figure out how to chew it up, it's over with. So we have cured that. And uh, so far, I ain't had any more problems. Now, these edges are a little sharp. And I've had a couple of these rats that's had a little bloody nose there. But uh, it ain't been but one or two, and that's my main chewers. And guess what they're not doing anymore? Trying to chew out. So they learned real quick, and I ain't having that problem. I've had these in here a couple, about almost a month now. So, no more, uh, no more bloody noses and uh, no more rats chewing out. So, that's one good thing about rats. They're smart and they learn quick. And I'm sure sooner or later they'll find another place to chew out. But we've got this one fixed anyway. So, just a little tip for these new style tubs. Since we can't get the odd job tubs anymore. And uh, it is what it is. So, anyway, that's about it guys. I was just giving y'all an update and uh everything's going good it's time to sift this out i don't even know if i've ever showed this but i've had this going for quite a while now three or four months but this is mealworms and i actually need to run to the store and get them some vegetables or potatoes are done there but this thing is chalked full of mealworms mealworms by the thousands uh, so it's doing real well. And uh, 
things are going good so that's about it guys i really wanted to show y'all the sticker board so there it is for the time being they still going to go on incubator but uh that's either going to be when the incubator looks better or we get a new incubator so anyway y'all remember hey before i do that uh this was the little hairless group of mice i got and they've had babies and i didn't get no hairless so i guess we'll hold a couple females back so we can make some more like that little fella back here in the back but uh they're going good though like i say these babies is already hopping around so but anyway hey y'all remember i can't never accomplished anything goodbye